the rarest achievements in Black Ops Zombies. These achievements are so rare that less than 1% of the total player base has ever unlocked them. And today I decided to see why these achievements are so rare and without wasting any more of your time let's get right into the video. So our first achievement takes place on Moon and this one is called Ground Control. Now essentially we have to stop the excavator from drilling holes into the three tunnels around the map. And this is the hardest achievement in Black Ops 1, at least on the zombie side of things. As some people have made it all the way up to round 40 and had to restart their game just because this achievement is so hard to unlock. It's more of kind of a luck based achievement than it is a skill based achievement. But yeah, that is what we are trying to do here. It seems like we also got Jug here, which is great. Want to get rid of that dog. I'm just going to try to get Jug and then leave. I don't want to stay here for too long and risk dying. Oh, this is not good here. Okay. I want to just try and use my grenades and get kills with the grenades. And then I think I'll be happy if I can just do that. Right, back around here. Jump through here. There we go. Should be able to get some kills with our grenades here. Hopefully a couple. Okay, there we go. Cook this grenade up. I'm going to leave right after I throw that one. There we go. Oh, I forgot to buy jug. Okay, there we go. 4,000 points. Now I can leave. Just going to play it safe and train all the zombies down here real quick. I don't want to risk dying. Okay, we got about 2,000 points. We are here now. Do you want to buy a quick revive? Because this might be a long game. Now, pretty much all we have to do is just play moon. Yeah, literally just play moon. Until we hear a voiceover or a little announcement come over that the excavator is taking out one of the tunnels. Then we have to come up here with the hacker and hack this thing. Now, the part that makes it so hard is that you have to do the three separate tunnels that are on this map and it's completely random whether you're going to get the three tunnels or not which is why this can take so long so we can start buying some doors now i think i'm going to head this way and come down here i think the mp5 or maybe it's the m16 this is or no the mpl okay i guess i'll just take the mpl for now so i'm not sure if you guys know but i have literally barely ever played moon moon is like one of my least played maps back in the day i just did not have map packs and i had call of the dead and ascension because if you guys remember there was like a disc copy that came with those two dlcs for free for the 360 so i was able to play those two maps but i never really got to moon and shangri-la until later now, i'm hoping i don't mess this up and i can do this achievement first attempt because like i said this achievement can be extremely extremely tedious and not even because of skill reasons just straight unlucky moments I haven't had any issues too far again i don't think there's going to be many issues we're pretty much just playing a game of moon which i probably have never done so essentially you guys are watching my first ever moon gameplay at this point one thing about moon is that it is super rewarding if you stay in no man's land and are able to get juggernaut it completely just changes how you start off in the game because i am pretty much not worried about anything right now and the mystery box is down here too so i guess i will just hit it for fun okay Okay, we got a CZ-75. That's not too great, but I guess I will trade that. Turn on the power here. And the last couple of zombies should be right here. Yep, just camping in here. There we go. There is round five. So ideally, the place we'll want to be is the dome, the air dome, tree dome, whatever it's called. I don't know what it's called, but the dome. You guys know what I'm talking about. And we're going to need the hacker here because that is something that is needed for this achievement. So we're just going to want to stay in the dome for most of the entirety of this game. The Nova Crawlers teleporting on moon are just something that I am not used to at all. It is so weird to see. Nova Crawlers are annoying enough as is, but then you give them a whole special ability and oh, Oh my god. I might actually go hit the box. Or no, I have enough ammo. Okay, we're not going to hit the box. I'm going to open up the rest of the map now. Or at least open up to the dome. I should have enough points. There we go. There's one door and I should have enough for this one. Yep, there we go. That door costs points, so I'm going to stay in here for now. I don't want to die yet. This really is not a great place to be in the middle of round six. I mean, it's round six, but this still is just not a great place to be. To get a double points, though, we're about to actually make a lot of money here. There we go. There we go. I can't see anything. I cannot see. Okay, there we go. I want to stay away from these guys because they are just getting rid of all of my vision. We're out of ammo, so we're gonna have to buy a new gun. I'm just gonna get the MP5. So they're getting an insta-kill too, which is goaded. There we go. Just gonna finish off this round here with this insta-kill. There we go. That's round seven. Okay, I'm gonna go to the dome now, and I have the hacker. I don't have the space suit, so I'm gonna have to just run this real quick. I'm pretty sure I'll make it. I don't think I'm gonna die. I would hope not. I don't know if my guy's gonna make this. I don't know if my guy's gonna make this. Okay, okay, we're in. Woo! That was that was scary. I honestly had no idea if I was gonna make that. Maybe this, isn't this the Cosmodrome? Cosmodome? Cosmodrome? I think it's a Cosmodrome, right? Not the Cosmodome. I think that's what it's called. This place is like the entire difference in this map. This area is just so huge. I mean, it's kind of hard to die here, honestly. It's just like you even have the jump pads too, which just boom, you're out of there, you know? Well, there's a double point there. I don't 
want to grab that. I don't want to die. This is really high up. I'm kind of scared. I should be able to just run off of this one and be fine, right? There we go. Okay. That was a little scary. Is there any wall buys in here? I don't actually know if there's a wall buy in here. I hope there's a wall buy in here. They get a death machine though. I, I We could go pack the punch, but if there is a wall buy in here, that is the gun I want to stick to because this is the area I plan on camping at. Not camping, but just staying or patrolling the area. Whatever you want to say. I know the mystery box spawns there and then PhD floppers here. I don't think there's a wall buy. There's claymores right there. I think there's an M16 in the tunnel that's right over here. Isn't this where it is? I think. Okay, maybe this is it. Or no, this is the MP5. Okay, this is where I came from. So I think we're going to be sticking with the MP5 for the majority of this game. I don't see another weapon. I don't think there is another wall buy out here. I thought there was another door that took you to the M16 wall buy, but I guess i'm wrong we could go pack a punch i think i'm gonna wait a while i want to build up some points that way we can pack a punch at both of our weapons we have two pretty weak wall weapons which isn't too great ideally when you want to pack a punch you want stronger weapons i'm really surprised there isn't any wall buys in here to be honest i thought for sure for some reason i know i know for a fact 100 there was never an aug wall buy at least not on the actual versions of the game but for some reason i always just feel like an aug belongs in this area but yeah we are waiting for the announcer right now and i have not heard the announcer since we turned on the power i don't know if there's anything that can activate the things to come down and affect the tunnels don't know if you just have to play the game and wait i'm trying to just speed run through rounds and hope that takes us somewhere and gets this done do need more ammo though we're getting really low here i kind of want to go hit the box we have one zombie left so i think i'm going to go head towards the box and hopefully get something good here okay we can hit the box here i'm not going to pick up a space suit just going to run up here and get air here there we go now i can run back and get my weapon which was a cz and hit it again here hopefully i don't die okay we're good we got air we're doing all right here. I'm going to just end this round. I don't want to die. Or no, there's still a lot of zombies left. Okay, we got a FAMAS. That's actually pretty good. I actually kind of want that. I'm going to run back up here because I'm kind of scared I might die. I'm just going to sit here for a second and hopefully I can get some kills here. Yo, no, this is actually such a bad idea. What am I doing? Why am I sitting in here? This isn't good. This is scary. I can't see. We should make it back. We should make it back. Oh my God. Playing without a helmet always just makes me so nervous. I'm going to buy double tap too while we're here. I guess this is 1.0. It's not that great. It's not terrible either. I don't know why people hate double tap 1.0. It's not bad. It just makes you shoot faster, which honestly just makes you kill the zombies faster so it's really not that bad we can go back to what we were doing here i'm gonna end the round here that should be round nine i think that's the last one there we go that is wave nine again still no announcement i'm still waiting for it we probably want to get monkeys i think monkeys might be really helpful oh there it is Okay, so tunnel 11. That will be one out of three. So hopefully we don't get that one again. Now I need to remember how to get out of here. I don't know how long we actually have to hack that thing. I don't know if you have like a whole round, if you have a limited amount of time. I don't even see that being anywhere near possible in the middle of a round. So I'm gonna just play this round out and save a crawler here. Hopefully we can get rid of this astronaut. He should be dead in about two bullets. So there we go. I don't wanna make a crawler here just so we have one. At least we can just have him yeah so we just heard the announcement again i i don't know i guess it's starting now i guess originally it was an announcement now it's actually starting we do need to make a crawler here and get over there asap that is what we need to do don't know how long we have like i said we have three crawlers here so i'm gonna make my way over there there's still a zombie left i don't have any ammo if there's a zombie here i'm dead okay oh my god that guy was camping there one second difference and i would have been toast so we can go up here and open this door this will take us to the spawn i do believe we're almost there i think i took the long route i think this is definitely not the way you want to take to the thing but here we go we got our hacker out now we just need to hack this here don't know how long this is going to take it's not that long this is doable this is actually doable there we go that's one so we'll need two more to complete this achievement that is one and i'm hoping we don't have to go all the way to round 30 or 40 that would be a little ridiculous we can get this done by round 15 would have to be extremely lucky this game i am going to go hit the box while i am out here because i do have time we want to try to get the monkeys i feel like that could be really good or at least a somewhat better of a weapon we got a commando that is actually amazing i love the commando anybody else love the commando or is it just me i know it's not just me this gun is amazing I'm gonna head back to the cosmos drone now we want to get back over there and wait again for another announcement. We do have a fourth perk slot and we can't also pack a punch. I might go pack a punch to commando. Yeah. How about I just go pack a punch to commando? I feel like pack a punching. I'm going to go pack a punch. And there is our teleporter. Let's go back to no man's land real quick and throw this bad boy into the pack a punch machine. There's no zombies yet. We're good. Don't really need points, but seeing that I do have a pretty good point weapon in my hand, I guess we could get a horde right here and get some points because why not? We can throw the MP5 in the pack a punch too. I have about 7,000 points now. I don't really need that many more points. I don't want to get 
get trapped and die, so I'm just gonna throw this into the pack a punch and leave. Hopefully we can get our gun here without getting trapped. There we go. Grab that. There we go. Okay, we can leave here now. I'm also gonna buy speed cola while I'm here. I have 3,000 points and I don't really need it. Most of the doors on the map are unlocked anyways, so we'll be fine. Okay, we're back to the Cosmodrome, which is good. We don't want to really be anywhere else because everywhere else is kind of tight. Tight corners at least, and this place is huge. I don't think I'll die here. I think I'll be all right. We have two pack-a-punch weapons now, which is really good. Wow, two extremely strong pack-a-punch weapons. Okay. Might as well just grab this nuke. I guess we're just basically trying to speed run this, right? We might as well do this as quickly as possible. One thing I've noticed about sitting in the Cosmodrome is the spawns are honestly really slow out here. And it honestly probably takes a good couple minutes just to get a full horde. I mean, it is only around 10, I guess, but the zombies are still full sprinting. So, I mean, I don't really know why it takes so long. I'm guessing they just probably spawn inside and run out. One thing I do not remember about Black Ops 1 are pack-a-punched weapons just being this strong. I mean, I am literally just one-shotting these guys to the head. For some reason, I feel like the weapons used to be a lot weaker, but I also feel like when I used to play back in the day, I would always shoot them in the body. I don't know why I would never aim for the head back in the day, but that is just something I know I didn't do. When you aim for the head on zombies, these dudes die in just a couple of bullets. Got a lot of ammo here. We got a double points. I mean, we don't really need points. Again, we pretty much have everything. We have our pack of punched guns. I mean, we could just go hit the box for fun. Maybe get some Gersh's or the Wonder Weapon. We don't really need anything, though. I think we'll be fine with our MP5 for now. We're about out of ammo in our MP5, so I'm gonna have to make a run in the middle of the round to go buy ammo unless we get a pretty lucky max ammo right here but i don't even think i've seen a max ammo in like six or five rounds i i really don't it's definitely been a while yeah there is our ammo i guess i'm gonna buy claymores just for fun we don't even need them but i might as well right put some kills right there yay we got three kills with the claymore Woohoo! we're gonna need to go get mp5 ammo though so i'm gonna do that now uh we're gonna want to take the jump pad that way i don't walk in the door and just die to a bunch of zombies because that would be awful and we're gonna want this door here so i guess we can just run off Oh my god! Oh, I need banned from playing this game, man. That was so scary. I mean, I don't understand why the zombie spawns that far out of the way. That was a little ridiculous. Because that was a complete jump scare. I mean, why was he there? I don't know. That was a little ridiculous. We're still good, though. We're still alive. We got our ammo. I honestly can't believe there isn't a wall weapon in here. I feel like there is, and I'm just missing it. Like, seriously, I really feel like there is. Oh, th oh, okay. We didn't even need to go buy ammo. I guess let's try to get through as many bullets as I can before I pick that one up. There we go. That's wave 13, though. We are on wave 13. We haven't heard the announcement for the second excavator yet, which probably isn't good. I feel like it should come any round now. I don't know if there's set waves, set time limit. I, I don't know, but I feel like it should should come any second now at least on 13 14 or maybe even 15 if not 15 definitely 16 what is this what is this okay man me too yeah okay that right there is why waves take so long on this map that is the sole reason behind why it, it takes two minutes to get one horde okay that too no that is a little bit ridiculous wow that is a crazy spawn i was able to get through the entirety of round 14 and we did not get the announcement so hopefully we can do this on 15 and that is round 15 and no we did not get a call out this time round 14 and 15 have been complete busts we have not got any announcement. The excavators do not want to drill today, it seems. We're almost out of ammo here, which means we're going to have to do an ammo run, which is always a little scary. We're about halfway through 16 now. Again, no announcement. Still waiting to hear the excavator is coming down. Today is a sad day. It looks like I'm going to be extremely unlucky with this achievement. But yeah, we do need to get some ammo. I have zero bullets. That was a lie. I have nine bullets. Okay, now I have zero. Oh, this looks bad. This looks so bad. Okay, this might be game. Please, please, please. Oh my god. That is so scary every single time. Okay, we can loop back around this way, though. Got an insta-kill. That's pretty good. Uh, let me use this real quick. Should end off the round here, maybe. going to be that many zombies left. I'm really surprised we have not gotten the announcement yet. I don't know what actually causes it. I don't know if I can just run in a circle and it will do it. <laughs> I don't want to test that theory either because that might be the dumbest thing you could ever do. But I'm hoping we can get that announcement soon or the excavator could go down. Either one. I don't even care. We finally got an announcement. That is insane. I never thought this day would come where we got an announcement. This is absurd. This is groundbreaking news. We got some crawlers here. I did manage to make some crawlers. I mean, it's pretty much the very start of the round, so it's not really a smart idea to go now. I'm gonna head over there now and hack this. I should have enough time. Oh my god. Okay, I should have enough time. That was really close, by the way. But I should have enough time. Oh my god. To hack this when I get over there, even though it is the middle of the round. 
I am confident enough that I can pull this off. As long as some dude doesn't spawn really weird on top of me, then I am good. Here we go. We gotta hack this. Hopefully we can do this in time. I literally hear a zombie right behind me. Oh my god, give me out, give me out, give me out. We got it, we got it, we got it. That's two out of three. Don't know if that was one that we needed or not, but that is two out of three. Oh, that guy was camping. Okay, we need to get back to where we were. We're gonna buy MP5 ammo while we are out here too. As long as there isn't a zombie right here, I'm good. Okay, there we go. We're home free. Just need to get up these stairs here and buy some more MP5 ammo. We'll be good to go. Oh, I went the wrong way. I went the wrong way. Oh, good thing that guy teleports. Oh, he just saved my life. Wow, you guys seen that? I do not like this guy, so we are going to remove him. Oh my god, he eats the bullets. What is this? Man? Okay, there we go. He's gone. He's gone. He's gone. We're already almost out of ammo in the MP5. Okay, we're definitely gonna have to go get some new guns this round and pack a punch. This is not good. The MP5 was a good idea at the start, but now that I'm thinking about it, this is kind of an awful idea. The MP5 is just not something you ever want, like, to mow down zombies. It is a point gun and strictly a point weapon, and I have so many points at this point that I'm just going to buy $5,000 ammo for my gun. Gotta go hit the box. We have an intermission here. There's only a couple zombies left there. Maybe it's just that one crawler. I have no clue, but we do have time here to go hit the box. I'm going to take advantage of this. Just gotta hit the box real quick, and then we're going to run up the stairs, go get air, and then come back down. Oh, no, 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 no. Go back out. Now, what did we get? Oh, like a lil. Okay, I am definitely taking that. I hit the box here. There we go. Maybe we can get a wonder weapon, Gersh's, or even better, monkeys. I mean, Gersh's are better than monkeys, what am I saying? But no. No, I, ooh, I might take it. I might take it. I might take it. Hit the box again. The G11. Who uses the G11? Does anybody actually use the G11 or prefer it or like it in any way? Ooh, the China Lake. Okay, I'm just going to take this to troll at this point. Yeah, I don't know why I took a China Lake. I'm hoping I didn't just get a teddy bear. I don't think I did. I got something good here. Whatever. I'm just going to take this and call it a day. I'm lying. I'm hitting it one more time. There we go. Okay, we got a teddy bear. It moved. Hopefully, it moved into the Cosmodrome. That would be amazing. Let's jump into no man's land. Hopefully, we don't die here. We should be good. We should be good. We should should be good. There we go. Okay, we need to pack a punch of both of these guns ASAP. Pretty sure the Galil turned into the Lamination. Pretty sure that's what it's called. I don't know what the Spectre becomes. Yeah, the Lamination. And then what does this one become? It becomes the Phantom. Okay. I have barely ever used this weapon unless it was like I was forced to. Kind of forgot. But we need to get back now. We don't really even want to be here. This is kind of a useless place to be. We can go this way and go down to the Cosmodrome. Oh my god, where am I going? Well, I ended round 17. I'm in the middle of a tunnel it's about to be round 18 this is not the place to be on a round change that is for sure the zombies are starting to come into the map they are really aggressive right now so i'm hoping i can make it back without dying going through doors on this map is no easy task because for whatever reason every time i walk through a door there is a zombie on the other side waiting for me every time we are just waiting for one last excavator i do think that should be the achievement just one last one i don't think we need more should just be three for the achievement Oh, what? What was that? No, that was the craziest thing I've ever seen in my life. No, my... No, 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 wait, 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 wait. I am not even kidding. I have never had something crazier happen to me. The crawler blocked me in with his teleportation. Then I slid off of his head back into the map. That was insane. I have never seen anything like that. Nothing has ever happened to me like that. I was so lucky. Honestly, I can't wait to rewatch that. I don't even know what just happened. The crawlers seem more aggressive with their teleportations now, huh? Is that something that happens? The farther you get on this map, they start teleporting more aggressively that doesn't even make sense it seems like that though i don't know but we're good though we're doing all right zombies are starting to kind of get to me a lot faster than normal we got a nuke though i'm gonna take that and end wave 18 we need to kill this guy too get you out of here buddy wow he eats bullets that is ridiculous Okay, there we go. We got a death machine for next wave, too. Kind of just mowing these guys down. I'm honestly surprised the death machine is still a little bit decent on wave 19. I don't remember it being that decent. Maybe it's just because I'm aiming for the head. Like I said earlier, I, I always went for body shots when I used to play. Which just made everything seem a lot harder back in the day, which it really wasn't. It was just my aim. Got a fire cell, though. I might want to take that and try to get a gun real quick. I only ended up getting an AUG, which isn't too bad. It's honestly kind of strong for being unpack a punch. It's kind of mowing them down a little bit. Yeah, surprisingly, an unpack a punch to AUG is still decently strong. That is not bad. 
It is killing them. Let me get rid of this guy here. Again, this dude just absolutely is a tank. Wow, two clips and he's still here. Okay. There's a fire cell up there. I don't really want to go get that. Kind of want to go pack a punch my AUG though. I think I'm going to go do that while I have time here. There we go. Let's try to do this as quickly as possible. We want to get back. We want that excavator to come as soon as possible. We only need one more. So we don't want to waste any time here. There we go. We did get the shotgun attachment. Should be a shotgun, right? Yeah, there we go. Shotgun. I don't know how good this thing actually is. I never really used it. Is it any good? Eh, it's okay. It's not terrible. Not something I'm going to use unless I'm literally out of ammo, but I guess that is something we have in our back pocket. On wave 20, though, the big 2-0-20. 20. Hoping we can get an excavator soon. I don't really want to go all the way to 40 like some people have. I haven't had any trouble yet. We have zero downs as of now. We don't have any downs, which is great. Um... That's about to change. Okay. Wow. Every time I do one of these videos, I mention how good we are doing and I instantly die every single time. Yeah. So it seems like I got to make my way back here and I am not dying. I am not. Oh my God, please. Oh, okay. Wait, 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 wait. I need to focus here. I actually need to focus here. We're getting through this. We are getting through this, boys. We are going to make it back to the quick revive machine. Slowly but surely. We are almost there, boys. Come on, come on, come on. There's our quick revive. The box is here too. Now we need to go back to no man's land and grab Jug. Don't need stamina up. Oh, I want to buy a double tap, but there's... Oh, come on, man. Please, please be jug. 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 Come on, come on, come on, come on, please. Oh, my God. Thank you. We're back. We're back in the game. We are back. We just got to get out of here, and we are good. We are good to go. Don't know how we pulled through. Don't know how we got through that, but we did. Is there any excavators going on right now? No. Okay. We just need one more. That is all we need. I want to get out of here, though. I don't want to be here. We're almost back to the Cosmodrome. Okay, that was a little bit scary, but here we go. We're in the Cosmodrome now. We're good now. We're finally back to where we were. No matter what happens now, no matter how good of a game we have or how bad of a game, I am not going to mention anything about how it is going because I always just end up dying all we need is one more excavator one single excavator and we are good to go surprisingly the shotgun attachment isn't too bad it's a two-hit kill i mean it's not great it's not anything overpowered but it's, it's definitely not bad my guns are really weak now these pack a punch weapons are not cutting it we really need something like a ray gun right now we're about out of ammo too the box is in the spawn where the quicker vibe is. It's not really a place you want to be. The wave is definitely almost over here, though. Even though zombies are still spawning in pretty much everywhere, it does seem like it's almost over. I'm just going to use a shotgun here to finish them off, maybe. No, not quite. Should be the last one here. 21. Yes, sir. There we go. Is that an excavator? Okay, that was the biodome. That's the last one we need. Okay, this is really good. This is really good. This is the achievement here. We're actually getting pretty lucky. 21 isn't bad. I feel like that's like the medium. I feel like that's like the median for this achievement. You can either have a really long game or a really short game, and it seems like we had a pretty average game here. All we have to do is hack this excavator, so I'll probably want to get a train here. Um, I'm not sure what I want to do. I kind of just want to send it. I kind of just want to send it. It's all we have to do. Try to get some crawlers here. Maybe we can get one. I, I don't really know. I'm just going to send it. I'm just going to send it. I'm confident enough. If we could do it the second time when we did it the second time i was able to pull that off so we can definitely do it this time um we gotta remember which way to go here we want to go down there we go the excavator is active if we die it's okay as long as we hack it we can get trapped in that corner and die as long as we hack the excavator i am fine with this i am fine with the sacrifice here come on come on we got this we need to get this out now let's go let's go let's go i'm just running straight towards it i'm just running straight to it i i, I don't know which one we have to hack here um i'm not sure there's one in here okay okay i see it i see it i see it i see which one we have to get here i'm gonna just loop back around oh i'm not going to loop back around never mind oh this is so bad this is so bad this is so bad this is so bad. We need to kill everything here. Okay, come on. We can make it through this. We can make it up here. We can make it up here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Where is it? I'm buying quick revive. Okay, I'm buying quick revive. I am not. Can I buy it? Can I buy it? Bro, bro, bro. Let me buy it. Let me buy it. Can I drop down? Can I drop down? Please let me drop. Please let me drop. There we go. There we go. There we go. I'm dead. I'm dead again. I'm dead again. I am dead again. I'm going for a jug. 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 Oh, we died. I, we died. I, I couldn't even do it. So after a very long and tedious grind, we are back up to wave 21. Now, I've done two excavators. We only need one more. I know we don't need the biodome, and we need one of the tunnels. I don't think it's 11. I think it's the other one. Not really sure if I remember which one we need. Got a max ammo, though. That's great. Now, it's been a while since I've gotten an excavator, so we should be getting one sometime soon. We shouldn't be waiting too long on our next excavator. And at this point in trying to get this achievement unlocked, I can tell you right now, I can see why this is the rarest achievement in Black Ops. This achievement is straight up just ridiculous. I mean, I'm sure there's people 
people that have had way worse games than I have, and mine hasn't even been that bad. I mean, I did have to die and completely restart, which took a very long time, but that's all right. I'm really hoping we just don't have to go all the way up to round 40. I mean, it's probably been about four or five rounds since I've even heard an announcement at this point, so I'm kind of just expecting it any second now. I don't think it's round-based. I think it's solely time-based. After going through my second attempt, I, I truthfully do think it is solely time-based. I'm probably wrong. I'm sure there's somebody out there that actually knows what it is, but we did get QEDs, which is kind of cool what didn't even know that could happen didn't even know that could happen i give up i give up finally finally oh my god this is unbelievable i have been waiting so long for this excavator it is actually unbelievable how long i have been sitting here waiting i mean i probably got my second one which was a duplicate on round 18 please please no please no I am not doing this for a fourth time. I am not doing this for a fourth time. I promise you, I will not do this for a fourth time. This is by far the hardest achievement I've attempted so far. This is ridiculous. I am completely out of ammo and I lost my Gersh's too. If I die, it's okay. As long as I get this hack off. Um, which one was it? Pretty sure it's this one. No, it's this one. It's this one. It's this one. Come on. Come on. Please, 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 please. Oh my God. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. That's the achievement. That is the achievement. Just, just, and just, take me out. Take me out. Take me out. Let's get on to the next achievement. I, I can't. So our next achievement is called shooting on location. And this one takes place on Call of the Dead. Now, essentially for this one, what we have to do is get the scavenger and kill 10 zombies from 100 feet with the scavenger, which really isn't that bad. I'm not sure how this is too rare or one of the rarest because this is definitely seems like an easier achievement, but it also probably just isn't something you would ever get in just a normal game of zombies. So pretty much the hardest thing about this achievement is probably going to be getting the scavenger out of the box because once we get the scavenger out of the box we probably only need to go to about round 10 or so and i guess the first zombie i knife is a nuke that is amazing but yeah like i was saying we'll probably need to get to about round 10 because we'll need about 15 16 zombies in a horde when i do it so we'll want to have some faster zombies i assume we won't get the scavenger that quick anyways my game plan for this map is going to be just to stay in the spawn for a little bit and try to just get some points and get through a couple of rounds pretty quickly something i also noticed the rarest achievements for this map are extremely easy but they both require the wonder weapon i didn't look at the rest of the achievements for this map so i don't actually know how many achievements or what the other achievements are i assume there's one for the easter egg and that's probably about it but the percentages aren't much different achievements that you have to go for in game and just don't just happen naturally are usually the rarest ones and when you're talking about the rarest ones usually the ones with the smallest percentage of player base having them are the hardest ones to get now that moon achievement no that was ridiculous that was absolutely incredibly stupid i i can't believe that achievement i have never in my life sat there and played moon for three hours that was a first for me and that'll probably be the last as well do not see that ever happening again we're on round four though we have four thousand points i guess i could make my way this way the box is over here anyways and we got to turn on the power too jugs over here too so i mean that's all pretty good it's all in the same spot which is great i want to get rid of this death machine i would like to be able to you know run let's buy this and turn on the power here i'm gonna buy the mpl which is on the wall down here if i can get down without like a zombie being there yeah there we go okay here's the mpl let me grab this and this should last us until we get to the mystery box i hope try to take advantage of this double points here and get as many points as we can might as well just kill the zombies with my mpl the, the shooting the pistol isn't really gonna do Ooh, an insta kill too got another insta kill it's not what we needed kill you kill you can we get him too? There we go. Okay, our double points is going away. That kind of sucks. We're back at 4,000 points though. Accidentally got hit by George. Okay, that's not good. Stick him down to the water here. So this achievement could literally take like five minutes or it could take an hour. Um, It really just depends on what my luck is with the mystery box. And that's practically it. This is not a case of moon. How many people watching actually have that achievement? And how long did it take you guys to get it? If so, like, I'm actually curious if I just got really unlucky and suck, or if it actually is that hard to get. I'm gonna hit the mystery box here, though. Hopefully I can get something. Okay, I don't know what that guy's up to, but yeah spaz 12 i will take that it would suck to get the vr 11 and not the scavenger because i'm pretty sure they're both as rare as each other so it's probably a case of getting one or the other i'm hoping we can get it before the box moves ideally i don't want to have to open up the entire map just to get the scavenger that would kind of suck but i'm expecting it 
I'm not expecting any less than that. One thing I've always wished was that the AUG was in Black Ops 2. Just imagine the classic Black Ops 1 AUG in Black Ops 2. Not even like a Black Ops 2 version of an AUG. Just just this version right here. I mean, even the Commando 2. Look at that perfect roll. The Commando. Imagine the Commando in Black Ops 2. I don't think the Commando was really in any Call of Duty games until Cold War. I think that's when it returned. In Cold War? It might have been in Black Ops 3 as a DLC weapon, but I'm probably thinking of something else. I've got a Galel. I'm going to take that. I'm really hoping we don't have to, you know, open up the entire map, but it seems like that's going to be the case. The box is probably going to move here on this hit. It's kind of unfortunate. Uh, no, we got to spectate. It didn't move. Okay, so it's definitely Definitely gonna move on the next one george is making sprinters too which is kind of sucks i mean george is coming back here now so we probably do actually want the box to move hopefully somewhere that we already have opened if i can get enough points here and hit the box and get it to move before george comes back here and starts camping no okay we are not moving the box i don't even really want to bother buying perks like jug because that's probably just about a waste of four thousand points if we can just get the scavenger and go that would be amazing but the thing with these black ops one maps are wonder weapons feel really rare i don't know why but on every map besides five and kino the wonder weapons seem a lot more rare maybe that's just me but rolling a thunder gun or the winter's howl just does not seem rare but the scavenger the baby gun and the zap gun on moon oh my god they all just feel impossible to roll it's probably gonna move on this hit if it doesn't move on this hit then i don't know what to say there we go yeah i was right please bless me with a good spawn here i do not want to open up the lighthouse that would suck tremendously that would be worst case scenario of what could happen right now i'm gonna sit here until i see where it goes the zombies are sprinting i think that's george making them sprint no it is round seven okay is that the spawn room that's probably the best place we could have gotten the spawn room okay so let's go over there now now if we can get it in one of these next like six or seven hits this is going to be absolutely perfect because we're getting to the round where we can probably have a full horde and enough zombies to complete this achievement but knowing my luck we're just going to end up with stuff like this and this but hey maybe third time's the charm right and nope we did get a ray gun. I am going to take that, but that is unfortunately not what we need. Okay, that's even worse. Come on. That's not bad. I think I am going to trade that for the ray gun. Not because it's better, but because we need points. And the ray gun is probably the worst point weapon. If not the worst, it's one of the worst. One thing that honestly makes this map pretty difficult is the fact that George can just make like every zombie on the map a sprinter. And it really catches you off guard a lot of the times. At least it catches me off guard. I can't speak for everybody. But the box should move here in a second. There we go. Nope, still here. I'm going to trade that out. I don't have any ammo, so I might as well. Oh, it's a one shot to the head. That's actually great. Maybe not for my points, so I probably shouldn't use it. But still kind of fun to use. Uh, no, thank you. We did get the ray gun again. Um, we're not taking that. I don't know why the... Wait, wait. I'm not even speaking English. Okay, well, that is one really unfortunate down. It's okay. We died right next to Quick Revive. I'm not too worried. We need to get some points here. The worst thing you could probably do on this map, if you want points, is to kill the zombies in the water. That literally just gave me like 10 points. The game is definitely starting to get a bit more hectic here. Nowhere near as easy as it was. George is making... Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm so dead. I'm so dead. I'm so dead. I gotta buy this door here. This is not good. This is super hectic right now. Maybe I can jump over George. Yeah, there we go. Okay, we just need to take him to the water here. I'm gonna hit the box. It should move. It's probably gonna go up to the lighthouse now. Okay, I can't hit it. I don't wanna die to him. Now we can hit this real quick. Probably gonna move. No. Man, this game hates me. It is giving me absolute garbage, or at least just not what I need. This kind of sucks. We got the teddy bear now. It's probably gonna go to Lighthouse, like I said. I don't see it going somewhere else. We gotta be pretty careful here. We're still playing without Jug, which is not really a smart way to play the game and it's definitely getting a lot more hectic here we got a double points that's really good we can get a lot of points right here with this rpk kind of backed up against the wall this is not a good place to be probably reload my gun and get out of there we have five thousand points i assume we're gonna have to open no okay it's in the power room so we're gonna want to save a zombie here i think that's the last zombie right there it's like a super sprinter so we'll probably want to make him a crawler we got two here oh i might be dead okay wait 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 there we go Get around him let's try to make a crawler here we're gonna need one see if i can get one there got two crawlers okay that's good gonna go up 
and try to hit the mystery box now we can kill that guy there so this isn't going to be a place that i can hit the mystery box in middle of the round george is really far across the map so hopefully we can get it here we have five thousand points to waste please no i am ridiculously unlucky when it comes to hitting the box i don't know why but i just never get what i want yeah so i went through all five thousand of those points and i did not get anything i pretty much just got a cz 75 like three times in a row so let's get through the end of round 11 make it to 12 and we'll be back at that mystery box by the end of round 12. oh this might not be good oh that was actually insane okay wait 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 gotta be careful with the water here we don't want to bring the zombies into the water because that is just an extreme loss of points i also don't want to shoot george don't know what we got there but i'm not even gonna bother grabbing it oh it's a double points i'm going back for it i'm going back for it this might be the dumbest thing please please, please. Oh, 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 oh i'm so good at this game okay maybe not maybe i'm just a little hyped because that was kind of a good save right there let me kill this guy here there we go this one too okay this should be a lot of points right here i hope should be able to turn around and get some more here we're at about seven thousand. it's really good i'm gonna create some crawlers then go back up there that should make me at least one crawler out of these guys no i completely missed okay let me try this again right there my grenade went through the map okay let's try this again there we go that's definitely a crawler okay two crawlers they're pretty close so they probably won't despawn Eight thousand points to waste the box will definitely move by then so let's see what we get here okay okay it moved it literally moved in two hits not sure where it's gonna go this time hopefully somewhere pretty close no this is what i was afraid of was this location right here this is probably as bad as the top of the lighthouse okay i'm lying nothing is as bad as the top of the lighthouse that is the absolute worst box place like of all time if not all time pretty close we're definitely gonna have to buy a lot of doors here unfortunately that's about 3,000 points gone. We only got 4,000, so we're not going to be able to get it to move here. I'm really hoping we can get it in these four hits. This is ridiculous. All of these box hits. I have not even gotten the VR-11, let alone the scavenger. This is honestly... I might be dead. This honestly is really difficult now. I'm not even going to lie. This is getting extremely challenging. I was going to try and avoid buying Jug, but at this point, I think it might be needed. I'll probably wait until I go down. If I go down again, I'll probably buy Jug. I don't see myself needing it. Oh my God, that was scary. I just got to watch our back here. There's only like three zombies left in this round, so I'm going to come down here and hit the box again. I need to turn them into crawlers. I haven't done that yet. It's probably going to be hard to do from right here. We can try to pull something off. Python. I do not want this. Wait, did we get the crawlers? Wait, maybe we got a crawl. Oh, I did hit that. I have about three hits left here. I'm hoping we can at least get... I'm hoping we just get the scavenger. Not at least. I'm hoping we can just get what we want. The third time. This is the third time we have gotten the ray gun. This is the third time. We still have not gotten the scavenger. It is wave 14. And we have solely been hitting the mystery box all game. We have not been doing anything besides hitting the mystery box. This is ridiculous. Wave 14 of solely hitting the mystery box. On a side note, this is probably the furthest I've ever gotten on Call of the Dead, playing with no jug. I don't typically play with no jug when I play the game, so this is something pretty different for once. I haven't really went down. I Have we went down? Yeah, we did die one time for, like, no reason. Not gonna get that many points this time, so I'm gonna have to use a ray gun. I ran out of ammo on my specter. Um, I guess we can buy the M14. Eh, it's probably not worth it. Shouldn't be many zombies left. I have about 4,000 points. I'm gonna start heading towards the box. Okay, let's hit the box. Let's see what we get here. Hopefully, something great. Scavenger? No, no. Okay. Fair enough. We did hit it many times. I was not paying attention. I was not paying attention and the zombie came up behind me and killed me. Okay, that is fair. That is completely fair. The box is here. I'm not even going to bother buying Quick Revive before... Um... Oh, there it is, there it is, there it is. Okay, finally, 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 finally. Okay, now I actually don't want to die. I kind of want to go buy Jug now. I don't want to die now. We should still have one more quicker, but we only died twice. So I actually know what I have to do to get this achievement. So I have to be 100 feet, but there's a specific way I can do this to make it a bit easier. So we're going to want to get a horde of zombies. Um, Ideally... Hmm. Ideally, I would say we're going to want to train up there because we're going to want George up there. We don't want to run into George here, but I feel like doing that without perks is going to be a little too difficult. So I'm not really going to attempt that. I'm just going to try to play as safe as possible. Um, As safe as possible, please. As long as I don't die here, 
I'm good. I just need to loop around. I don't want to go through the water if I don't have to. I'm going to definitely have to go through the water here. Okay, that kind of sucks. I'm trying to think of the best way to do this. I think we're definitely going to have to go head on with George. Stand right here. Get them to come out of the water. Run past. Yeah, there we go. Okay, I know exactly how I'm going to do this. I'm probably going to want to buy this here for movement speed. Just so I can move a little bit faster to get that 100 feet away. This guy is really fast for some reason. Stand here, stand here. No, that guy hitting me just completely messed up my game. Okay. Um, what can I do here? What can I do here? What can I... What can I do here? Can I buy this door? Oh my... I, I don't even know. I don't even know. What am I doing? Okay, this is good. This is good. Actually, hold on. I need a thousand points. Can buy this. This should be open. Lighthouse main door should be open too. Yep, there we go. Okay, this is good. This is really good. There's our horde. Don't want to die here. And we just need to absolutely bolt it. Jump past George there and run down here as fast as I possibly can. And then right here is when you want to turn around and shoot right there. Now we want to look at our scoreboard 359. Okay. It looks like we got zero kill. Oh no, 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 please. Let's try this again here. I got zero kills. Maybe the gun was just weak. Maybe I missed the shot. I'm not actually sure what happened there. I don't know if the unpack a punch scavenger is actually strong enough to pull this off. Now that I'm thinking about it, okay, we need to get this horde up here. We need to not mess it up this time. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Jump. There we go. George is going to be right here. Hopefully, I can curve around him. There we go. Okay, just need to run as fast as I can. And right here. I should be good right here. I see all the zombies. Okay, we're at 359. Let's see. 373. That is the achievement unlocked, boys. That was not bad. The worst part about that achievement was without a doubt trying to get the scavenger our final achievement in this video is called small consolation and pretty much this one is extremely easy just like the last we have to get the baby maker out of the box and we have to use it on every type of enemy on this map which would include the napalm zombie shrieker zombie monkey and a normal zombie and that will unlock your achievement once you have done all of that now if this is going to be anything like the call of the dead achievement this is going to be absolutely ridiculous going 15 rounds until you get a wonder weapon when the only thing you were doing is spamming the box is actually a little insane now i'm not gonna lie i definitely could not go 15 rounds without jug on this map i don't think i could and i don't plan on it but all of my points are going to go towards the box until at least about round eight or nine i'm just gonna try and get as many points as i can before we leave the spawn room i might just buy the m14 until we can hit the mystery box because i don't really need to spend the majority of my points on a decent wall weapon m14 will work just fine don't want to get the olympia because the m14 will give us more points off getting a headshot i forget what the m14 is isn't it right here okay yeah i thought so i didn't know but also to get an insta kill we have about 3,000 points reaching towards the end of round three should be able to make it to four with about 4,000 that should be enough points to open up towards the mystery box i don't know if we'll have enough points to actually hit the mystery box though but i guess we can try i think that is at the waterfall area i do believe jugs here okay that is good yeah that is definitely the waterfall i think it's just this door so we'll have 2,000 points i think right yeah okay there we go that's our first hit now if please please just give me it on my first hit no that man what? this is oh please this is probably the worst gun in the game. Okay, we got a ballistic knife. That's not terrible. At least for right now. That'll actually give us a decent amount of points. Especially with the double points. This really is not bad for now. Okay, we did get a double point on a nuke. That is actually really good. Really hoping I can get it here. If I could get it in my first couple hits, this would make up for the awful, awful Call of the Dead game. Doesn't seem like that's going to be the case, though. Sadly. Okay, our ballistic knife is not even a one-shot kill anymore. Um, looks like we also have a shrieker here too. This is really bad. This is not a good area to be in. Definitely need to hit the box here. We have pretty bad guns for right now. This is actually terrible. And we got <laughs> and we got a teddy bear. Wow, this is really bad. I don't know if this could get any worse. Like, I, I really don't know if this could get any worse. Yeah, so we're definitely going to need another weapon. Um, I don't know where the mystery box is, but as of right now, we have two special weapons, which is not ideal. Nowhere near ideal. I think it's just behind this door here. Uh, I think it's underground. Yeah, it is definitely not out here. That sucks. Hopefully, nope, G11. Okay, that is just unlucky. Don't know where this last zombie's at. We need to kill him and end this round, though. We also do not have quick revive, and I don't even have points to buy quick revive. Yeah, we are not in a good spot right now. I'm gonna try to just hold it down into the spawn room. Just, 
Just for a second, that way I can get quick revive and not have to worry about restarting here. We already did get a napalm zombie into the map. That's kind of crazy. We could have already completed this challenge. I'm going to grab this fire silk and I didn't even get a chance to use it. That really sucks. You know, if I just had good box luck just once, we could have already completed this achievement. But the game hates me. I don't know why. I don't know why I have the worst box luck I've ever seen anybody ever have, but for some reason, I cannot pull wonder weapons unless it is the ray gun. We just need to get some points here. Shangri-La is a scary map. I do not want to be sitting here for that long trying to hit the box. I'm really hoping I get lucky. I cannot do another 15 rounds hitting the box. Got a crossbow again. That kind of sucks. We're getting so unlucky. I mean, even just hitting the box, we are getting some of the worst guns. The crossbow isn't bad, but I mean, for right now and what we're trying to do, that is just awful. Please, 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 please. Oh, that's not terrible. We got a double points. I'm going to try and get as many points as I possibly can during this double points here. Shangri-La is not a map where you want to be running around like crazy. We're about 4,000 points though. This is really good here. We have about 6,000 points to waste here. I, I didn't get it from the fire sale, unfortunately. We're getting really unlucky again. Please, please don't pull another call of the dead on me. Oh my god, please. I will not be able to live 15 rounds without Jug. Not on this map. Please. Oh no. It just gets worse and worse each hit. This sucks so bad. Please. No. There's a napalm zombie coming too. Oh, this is terrible. This is terrible. There's a sprinter. I need to kill that napalm zombie like right now. Zombies are really fast too. We have an escape behind us just in case things go south, which I'm sure they will if I can't get the box to move quick enough. Another M72 law. I mean, dude, we are getting the worst guns you could possibly get. This is insane. You reload my HK. This gun is so good. It should move on this hit. Like, I'm so serious. I don't believe it's not going to move. Okay. Okay. That's not terrible. I will take that just because this is Shangri-La and this is a difficult map. But that is not the baby gun. We want the baby gun here. Actually, just going to get rid of it. I don't even care. I don't even want it. I have never in my life spent this many points on hitting the mystery box and not gotten a wonder weapon. This is ridiculous. This is what public matches used to feel like. Just hitting the box all game and just not getting anything. But then that just one guy, that one brand new player hits the box one time and he just gets the ray gun, the thunder gun, some monkeys, you know, everything in the game. Oh, there's our teddy bear. Let's grab this nuke and go. Hopefully this goes somewhere relatively close. I don't want it to go too far. Where did it go? Is this... Okay, that is in the spawn room. That's not bad. The spawn room is a bad place to be, though. That's for sure. Should be able to hit the box here. The napalm zombie's still up. Should be able to kill him. Oh my god, oh my god. Why, why is bro chasing me? 2,000 points, please. All I need is a baby gun. All I need is a baby gun. Please, please don't do this to me. Monkeys? It's not terrible. Not terrible. Definitely a better item. I'm going to use it. I'm using it. We got a shrieker zombie in the map, too. That sucks. This really sucks. This sucks so bad. This is the worst game of zombies I've ever played. Is there a guy here? I can't even see. I'm blind. Nah, we need another monkey. We ooh, 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 ooh. Don't, don't. Oh, look. We just did a duplication glitch. Isn't that cool? Yeah, so if you guys didn't know, if you go down while holding a gun, uh, yeah. Looks like we got two HKs now. Even though that's not how that works. I need to throw another monkey. I don't... That's not gonna last that long. There we go. There we go. Quick revive, quick revive. We're back in. We're back in. We're back in. This is so important to get points here. The shrieker's gone, but so is our quick revive. That was not a good trade-off. Please just give me the baby gun. Please. This is getting ridiculous. This is getting so ridiculous. It looks like the box went back underwater, I think. Okay, that guy's just sitting there, but... um, This is some intense gameplay oh my god man like i am focusing to the max right now trying to get this achievement okay come on please please just give me the baby gun it is not that rare this is like this is worse than trying to get a mark two this is worse than trying to get a mark two this is insane I i'm just using monkeys i'm just using monkeys there's, no there's not even a point to do anything besides use monkeys come on hold it down hold it down monkey you got that you got that there's a there's just a napalm zombie behind me okay another monkey going down we have to kill him now Ooh, I'm 1 HP. I am 1 HP. Can we go around this? Please give me the baby gun. Please, 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 please. Not the ray gun. I said the baby gun. This is ridiculous. This is actually ridiculous. Uh, okay. I wanted that. How'd you know? Early Christmas present or what? This is insane. This is actually insane. This monkey is going down. I'm hitting the box one time. And if I don't get it, that's probably game. That's probably game if I don't get it here. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Throw me up. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> No, 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 no. Ooh, why is he so fast? Why is he so fast? Okay, we're doing good. We're not doing too bad right now. We're not doing... We're doing actually really bad. This is actually awful. I'm just gonna let the monkeys take that. We have 3,000 points right here. I'm hoping we can get something. Please. Not something. I mean the baby gun. Please. Please, 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 please. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, okay. Here's one. I, I don't want to die. Please, 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 please. Okay, okay, okay. I need to buy jug. That is the first thing I need. What? What is this? 
Why do I have an M72 law? Why is that my other weapon? Okay, nothing is more important than Jug right now. Honestly, so surprised I made it this far. I would truthfully believe in myself if my other weapon wasn't an M72 law. This is like as bad as it gets right here. It's an M72 law. Okay, we killed this guy. That was safe. Safe, 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 safe. I don't trust this. Okay, I don't I don't trust this. I don't... Oh, hoo, 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 hoo. Napalm zombie. We need to get out of here. We need to get out of here now. Oh, please, please, please. Why am I stuck? Why am I stuck? Why am I stuck? Okay, I'm back. And I got a little more lucky this time. I didn't really get lucky at all. I mean, it's still round 10 and I just now got it. We are only in need of three things right now. We need the shrieker. This is so bad. Wait. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. How am I alive? We need a shrieker, burning zombie, and a, um, what's it called? Fire zombie. I just need to be careful here. I don't want to waste all my ammo. An insta kill could be so useful right now. Oh my god, please. Is that the monkey? Okay, we got the monkey. We just need the shrieker and the fire zombie now. I don't even know where Jug is. I don't even care, honestly. I mean, I do, but I'm not going to go looking for it. I probably shouldn't stand here either. This is not a good place to be at all. We have 10 shots in our baby. Oh god, I don't know where to go. <laughs> Every place on this map is not a good place to be. Truthfully, that is just Shangri-La for you. I'm just going to stay here. I'm just, I don't know what else to do besides stay here. Okay, we got a flamer or napalm. I don't I don't know. I'm so focused right now that I can't even think. This is so bad. Where's he at? I don't I don't know where he's at. We need a shrieker too. Those are the last two we need. The shrieker and the napalm. I'm gonna wait till he gets a bit closer. Shrink him. There we go. That's the napalm. Oh my god, that was scary. Now all we need is the shrieker. Please spawn. We have two bullets. I don't want to use that unless there is a shrieker on the map. I literally do not want to use that unless there's a shrieker. This is not a good place to be. So it's really not it. Wait, there's a shrieker. There's a shrieker. There's a shrieker. I'm not gonna shoot. I'm not gonna shoot. I'm not gonna shoot. Where's he at? Oh no, it's a napalm. That's bad. That's bad. That's bad. So we got a shrieker here. I came down here to get jug, but we do have a shrieker. This is our achievement here. Give me okay. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. That's the achievement. That's the achievement. That's the achievement. 